Click. Click. All right, let's see here. I'm going to have to move my little streamy window over here, chat window over here, and switch over to my good friend Elgato. Hey, there it is. Now, if I can just get this thing focused where I want it to be. All right, now that my screens are where they need to be, did they say it was going to be digital only on Switch, or will there be a physical release? I don't remember. Has Cuphead had a physical release yet? Well, that's a pretty popular question based on what Google is telling me. Let's see here. Top news results. There's some kind of thing on the Xbox One. Ah, here we go, here we go, found it. Uh, source NintendoEverything.com. Cuphead confirmed for physical release on the Switch. Retail copy will drop sometime after the DLC launches so that the cartridge will have everything included. All right, well, that's good to hear. So, hey, if you want to wait a little bit and buy Cuphead on the, you know, physical console, like get the, get the cartridge and everything, you'll get the DLC too. So that's excellent to know. What was I playing on NES Online? Anything? No. Oh, there's probably like an echo. Let me go ahead and fix this. Okay. Now let me see how our volumes are doing, because uh, there tends to be a pretty big difference between Cuphead and Blaster Master Zero 2. Also, the audio might be a little bit crusty. Like, this just happens sometimes with Elgato, and I just have to, like, unplug and replug the HDMI cables. I could play Star Tropics. Indeed, I could. Indeed, I could. One of these days, I will have. I, I will invite you on for that. But, uh, that's, uh. That's a stream for another day. It won't be long after I finish Cuphead that I'll be uh, in the mood for doing that. Alright, audio sounds alright. Might be a little bit quieter compared to Cuphead, so let me go ahead and change that real quick. Let's see, video capture device. Let's bump that up a little bit. Uh, that's probably about good. Maybe even too much. Elgato did an April Fool's joke? No, I didn't see that. Let me, let me see here. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to type with, like, my Switch controller in one hand and my mouse in the other. I'm just, like, holding my hands above the keyboard and pecking down with my index fingers. Introducing Elgato's... Wait... Wait, 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 that's, that, that's like Square Kirby, that has nothing to do with it. Oh, they did like a video for it, too. Interesting. Uh, what's this all about, then? Studios all the way to your mom's basement, everyone's using a green screen now. And here at Elgato, we've pioneered the way people use green screens forever. But we thought, why stop there? Always on the forefront of innovation, Elgato proudly presents Elgato Green Screen Spray. With this spray, you can make anything disappear with the power of Chroma Key. Got a Oof. desk? Use Green Screen Spray to make your desk disappear on stream. Perfect for when you want to add a mouse and keyboard cam without taking up a bunch of room. <laughs> Got a chair? Use Green Screen Spray to make your chair disappear. Now your viewers can't tell that you never used the stand function on your sit-stand desk. <laughs> here found his inner zen and mastered the art of levitation? <laughs> He's using Green Screen Spray. Oh, that's you good. spray yourself in case you want to disappear. Like Garrett here. I didn't spray myself. Didn't you, though? I don't feel so good, Mr. Steg. <laughs> Why does this make me think of like a. It's like a Tim and Eric joke. But wait, that's not all. Order in the next five oh, the screen's really zoomed in. Sorry about that. Ah ha ha, I get it. <laughs> Good joke. No, I don't know how I missed that. 
Oh wait, yes I do know, because I'm not like subscribed to Elgato on YouTube or whatever. Alright. So, those of you who know anything about Blaster Master Zero 2 probably are aware of the plant character, Kana. We met her last, uh, last weekend, and she wants us to go and collect fruit for her. How apropos. But she also gave us a hint that we're probably going to need a new upgrade that we don't currently have. So, our new objective is to just leave. Oh, by the way, you can do this in Blaster Master Zero, too. It looks completely ridiculous. But hey, it's there. So why not make use of it? Try to ignore the fact that the enemies are spitting out, uh... The, the enemies in this particular planet are really, really weird. You got these annoying bee things that take forever to kill for some reason. You got things that are spitting out power-ups. You got things with flowers on their heads. <coughs> it got really weird looking... Oh god, I, I'm forgetting what buttons do what. You got the really ugly looking, like, giant versions of enemies. Like, come on, Super Mario Bros. 3 did it better. They, they didn't just, like, scale up the sprites. Whoa! Hang on a minute. Gotta clear my throat here. Alright, so what I was trying- what I'm trying to get at is that our current objective is to just leave this planet and go find a power-up before we continue. Now, thankfully, these, uh... That thing was just scratching the back of its head. I, f I forgot that they did that. You- you sneaky son of a bitch! He was hiding behind the save point. Did you see that? Alright, anyway. So, I got an idea of where we need to go. Let me see here. We gotta go back to, like, the first zone and use a warp that I completely ignored before. By the way, this game is available uh, for, like, ten bucks or something, which is about how much the original Bla Blaster Master Zero was as well. That's part of why I got into the series. Like, I, I never really played or cared much about the original Blaster Master. <clears throat> but, uh... You know, you know, I saw some people on YouTube playing this one, and it looked really fun, so I decided to give it a check out myself, and I was really happy with it. Whoa! What the heck? As soon as we entered the new sector of space, we came under attack by an unknown spacecraft. We managed to avoid a direct hit, but G-Sophia was forced to make an emergency landing. That's, uh, the name of the tank, by the way. G-Sophia. Nani? Is that? Who? Who that is? <laughs> You're about to run out of battery. Quick, save it! <laughs> what is that thing? Is that another metal attacker? What do you think you're doing? I... This guy has literally said nothing, and I like him already. Searching databanks found it. Nora MA-07 Garuda. So it is an MA. Why would you attack a fellow MA pilot? Uh, your tool is breaking down, is that right? Huh? Strange one, aren't you? Clinging to a busted support droid like that. How dare you? Don't talk about Eve like that. What a sentimental creature. You don't know when to throw things away, do you? In that case, I'll smash it all. You, that tool, and your vehicle. I, I don't know why. I'm just imagining like a Bane mask voice with him. There's something wrong with him. Hey, that's cheating. You can't just... You can't just fly around like that. Give me a break. Oh, oh jeez, he's fast. He is fast! What's he gonna do? That's really cool looking, but I'm jealous as heck. What's that? What are, what are those? Oh, they shoot things, of course. Why wouldn't they? Whoa! Jeez! 
Oh, there we go. I, I can't get a read on this guy. I need to, like, shoot missiles. Otherwise, I'm never gonna hit anything. Ah! Where'd he go? Cut that out, you. Ah! I can't hit this guy for shit! I'm too distracted, I can't, like, do anything. Oh, come on. Seriously, this guy's, like, cheating. I can barely even hit him with my missiles. Ugh. No, sir, I don't like it. I, ah, I feel so dumb getting hit by things like that. If I can just pay attention to where he's going, I'll stand a chance, right? Huh. Yeah, alright. Man, I've got even less cuphead than I... I've got less commentary than I did on Cuphead. Uh-oh. Yep, I'm dead. I really think that's the best option, is to just rely on the missiles, because I'm, I'm never gonna be able to aim at that guy. He's too damn fast. I need- I wish I could, like, ground him somehow. The hostility of Garuda. Ugh, everything about the name Garuda fills me with rage. Like, I don't know if any of you have ever played Final Fantasy III, but boy oh boy, was that Garuda guy a real pain in the ass. Stop! I got one hit on him. That's it. I'm trying my best. Ah! No, nope, stop switching weapons, please. Ah! Wait, why can't I... Why couldn't I destroy that one? It just got nudged. Ah! Uh, this requires so much precision. I can't... I can't be precise in a boss battle. Give me something giant, like that giant mountain thing from before. <laughs> ah! No, stop that. Should I be doing something else? Like... Do I even have any other things I can use? What happened to my, like... Ah, uh, what was that thing? It's not dive, it's not hover. Didn't I get something from... Uh, Kana? That lets me, like, drill or something? Thought I, I thought I baited him, but nope. And I'm about to die. I am not feeling confident about this. Sheesh. I really don't think I've ever had such problems with a boss in the middle of a tank. Like, these are usually supposed to be comparatively easy. You know, compared to the ones that you fight just as Jason. Uh, it's just, it's, it's the stupid bird fight from Final Fantasy 3 all over again. There's nothing I can do about it. If I can just predict where he's going, I might stand a chance. 
but, you know, easier said than done. Pay attention. Ah! How did he do that? I don't know. Oh, great, there's one on the ground. I'm gonna try the burn spark and see if that helps. Eh, it helps a little bit. At least I can hit him when he's doing that. Maybe I should just swap between them. You know what? Probably there's like a sub weapon that would have been really helpful here. But I didn't pick it up, so. Hell with me, I guess. Uh. Those missiles are, like, the only hope I have. I can't hit these things no matter what I try. And when I do hit them, they just bounce around. This is terrible. Oh, fine. If I have to tackle him in order to land uh, some damage, then I will. So sue me. I mean, I'm doing all right this time. Maybe I'll actually get him. Bam! Okay. So what's your deal? Damn it! Move, Garuda! You always... Ugh, and at the worst times. He stopped. Now's our chance to get away. Hold on, Jason. I can access Garuda's OS. Collecting data now. What? This is... You're hacking me? So that busted doll can still... Stop. Right now. I've been cut off. Eve, we're getting out of here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's problem is. What the hell? <laughs> My words exactly. Sorry, Jason. I thought I could find the reason he attacked us in Garuda's OS, but... All I could get was this map data. It appears to be a map of a planetoid in Area G. Maybe that's where his base is located? Area G is right next to Sophia's sector. Good work, Eve. This map data will definitely come in handy. Uh... Well, that's cool, but... Is there anything here? Uh, I wanted an upgrade and all I got was a new rival character. Alright, where exactly am I going now? Like, all I got was map data, not necessarily, you know... Uh, I need upgrades. I'm just gonna check all the side planetoids until I find what I'm looking for. I mean, these usually are not too bad, right? So, let's just see what happens. It's probably gonna be a bunch of Sophia battles, if I had to guess. Oh, maybe not. It could be that these are going to be a couple of puzzles. Hello. Uh, does that just tell me what this map is like? Because that's not very helpful. Uh, what does this do? Hmm. I can't tell if this is going to be helpful or not. Can I shoot these with missiles? Yes, you can. All right. It would probably be good to go ahead and shoot him, then. This looks like an uh, adventure for Jason, and Jason only. Look at him go! Remember, Jason is very susceptible to fall damage. See? That's two points of damage right there. And some more. I don't know how to mitigate that damage. 
I think all we can do is drop down and hope for the best. All right, there we go. Huh? Eh? Are you kidding me? Ugh, fine. <laughs> nice try, I'm not falling for that one. Although, that does beg the question, how am I going to get back down? Uh, maybe I can do a bit of this. If this fails, I'm fucked. Hmm. Maybe I should have tried to shoot that last one. Yeah, alright. So it's not just, uh... It's not just tank boss battles, you also have a few puzzles with these extra planetoids. Alright, there we go. That's probably gonna help a lot. Let's try that again. So yeah, two blocks worth of droppage gonna kill poor little Jason. He's like Mario back in the original uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong arcade game. Alright, yeah, that's a much gentler descent. Thank you. Although I'm still not sure what benefit this has for me. Damn it. It's so sensitive to falls. There's just nothing you can do about it. Alright, that felt like it wasn't much help at all. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Any new planetoids? In this sector there is. Oh, and there's another one there. Wait, wasn't that where I just came from? Hmm. Hey, what do you know? So what's this all about then? Fingers crossed. Let's hope this has what I'm looking for. What we need is something equivalent to Samus's like, space jump. That'll let us, like, well, you know, jump multiple times in the air. Definitely looks like there's a lot going on on this little planetoid. That looks dangerous off to the right. Let's check this out first. Oh, we got not quite Metroids. Ah, I see. It's just another like gauntlet of common enemies, which are not to be underestimated. Remember, this was originally a boss in the original Blaster Master, that big old mother brain thing. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good. I'm getting swarmed. Oh. Well, that wasn't so bad. Ah, but there's multiples. I see how it is. And the environments are going to get progressively more dangerous. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh god, please go away. I don't even care, just spam the ever-loving crap out of them. Alright, whew. And we unlocked a new map. This is like the this is like the exploration equivalent of a fetch quest. We just keep finding more and more maps to new areas until eventually we find something worth the journey. One can only hope. So what's the deal with this place up here, huh? It's a ceiling. That's what it is. Hi there. Is that another hexabibby? Octabibby. All right. Sure. Why not? 
Hey, I got your own weapon to use against you this time. So don't think this will be a cakewalk, Mr. Bugman. Although this is quite annoying, because you can only target, like, the head. Ah. Okay, on second thought, maybe the missiles are not so great here. Because there's so many minions to chase after. That just doesn't work all that well. Yeah. Actually, maybe not. It seems to be avoiding the minions for the most part, which is nice. Oh boy. I don't need missiles to finish off you guys. You dudes. I'll have to do a same straight up and nothing can get me. Okay, except for these guys. <laughs> Easy peasy, if only I could like get some of my SP back. Okay, I am kinda getting swarmed a little bit here though. Just walked right into all that, all those bugs. I just didn't care. If you use the tools that have been given to you, it's not too bad. I just wish I would stop making dumb mistakes like that. Ah, whatever, they keep dropping health, so who cares? Like, seriously, this is just way too generous with the health drops. It's even dropping large health. Like, this is easy compared to what I just went through. There we go, get out of here. Now can I get the space jump? Nope. Nope. Actually, it kind of looks like there's a lot more left to explore. So... We're not necessarily done here yet. Alright. What's here in the little secret zone? What? Uh... Oh no, I have to fight one of these as <laughs> puny little Jason? Uh, how? Uh... How? Help. Oh, is that all? Is that all I have to do? This is silly. Yeah, alright, thanks. So, that was basically for the equivalent of a missile tank, I suppose. Alright, I'll take it. Still not what I'm looking for, though. The endless side questing. Alright, where to next? I just don't know where the thing we're looking for is. I hope I'm not being a complete dumbass about this. And it's it was actually back on the planet we started from. All along. Like, I got my fingers crossed here. There better be something good at the end of all this. Man, this game is so much better with the HD rumble on. What? Oh, we're not e we don't even get to participate in a tank. Not today. Oh, it's another one of those uh, Goemon things. Hi. That's dangerous. What? Whoa, 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 what? What's my thing? 
Oh, no wonder I took damage there. That's... That's a bit stupid. Yeah, don't try to, like, tackle an enemy while they're across a gap of spikes. It's not gonna work too well. Oh god. Oh god. I can't move. Okay. That was a little bit too nuts for me. But we're alright. We are alright. The only problem is I have no idea what's in store for me here. We got two keys, and that's exactly what we need. That's so clever that they're hiding, like, optional save points behind uh, the key the key doors. Yeah, let's try using the barrier a little bit, see how we feel. Oh, this looks menacing. What is... It's you! I finally found you! I won't let you escape this time! Is that Garuda's pilot? Huh? The choker on his chest. Is that the same as Eve's? Does that mean all this time he's been like a support droid? Too bad you're alone! I wanted to dispose of you alongside your malfunctioning doll. Don't you dare insult Eve. Give it up! That doll will be completely broken soon enough. If I destroy you first, you won't have to suffer that. This ought to be interesting. The Nomad Berserker. Le L I'm sorry, Leibniz? What the hell kind of name is that? Oh, he uses a whip. <laughs> uh, uh, am I supposed to shoot that? Whoa! I thought that would have been a good time to counter, but apparently not. Gotta pay attention! Alrighty then. I'm trying to figure out the timing to shoot him when he's doing that thing. Like the whip attack. You gotta get him like the instant he stops moving. Otherwise that's not gonna work. Also, I, I get it, I see. That's just a counter attack. He can counter attack just like us. Okay, this is not going too well. I, I can't, I can't do it. I really want to, though. Huh? Oh! He can pinball that around, huh? Apparently, it, it doesn't actually do anything, unless you're actively shooting it! Oh, boy. All I want to do is counter that whip attack. But it's just so damn fast. Even on the ground outside of the tank, he's fast. <sighs> well, I was kind of asking for that, wasn't I? Alright, it's fine. So yeah, the little shield weapon, not too effective. What's your name again? Liebniz? Liebniz! It's a terrible name, I hate it. Ah! I really want to counterattack that whip, but I can't. Ah! 
That's right, he can do that. Ah. Come on. Ah! <laughs> he was right there and I couldn't pull it off. Come on, you proto man looking motherfucker. It's too fast. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, honestly, the only the only way I'm gonna be able to counterattack that is if I just spam the counter button. Which, as you might know, is not that great of an idea. But at the same time, what is a good idea against someone this goddamn fast? Uh, I just don't know. This guy is a real pain, and I hate him. Wow, that does shit for damage. I hate it. Being said, the mines are pretty effective, considering how much he likes to just swirl around you. Yes! At least that works well enough. But I have to wonder, what exactly is the most effective thing to use when he's doing that? I don't know. There! There we don't go! He- he should have been stunned! Why wasn't he stunned? Oh, that was shit! Alright, it seems like every time he, like, does that guard move, he goes right around and does that. I figured it out! I figured it out. But I died anyway. God damn it! It may take us an eternity, but we'll get there. Jeez. This is not just a break from Cuphead, alright? This is this is still ch a challenge, alright? I wish I knew what weapon was most effective. Effective against this dude. Honestly, it kind of feels like just spamming your regular shoot gun is about the most effective thing you can do. God damn it, stop that. Wrong button. Alright, come on, mate. Ah. Really tricky to get away from. I've already lost most of my power levels. Ah, why can't I get away from that? That's the thing that keeps killing me. I can't get away fast enough. What do I do? I can't shoot that thing, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh. There we go. You really gotta, like, anticipate what's coming. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Shoot! That's it. I'm using this. Let's see how well it works. D 
Do you mind? Apparently, these guys can be weak to different kinds of counterattacks as well. So in this guy's case, really the most effective move. Shoot. Okay, never mind. That time he decided not to follow up. Ugh. I just have to switch these things on the fly. Otherwise, I don't stand a chance. Come on. Now I know your gimmick. All right. You're done. You are done! Oh, so this is it. What's wrong? Hurry it up. Finish me off. I'm ready. I'm not the same as you. I have no intention of killing you. That's right! You're absolutely correct! We're utterly different, you and I. I have nothing in common. With someone who zealously clings to some busted up doll. Leapness, you. It's better to throw it away. It'll break anyway. His words don't seem meant for me. I wonder who he's talking to. Oh. Is that a new counterattack? Oh yeah, hi Fred. Fred, you're my only comfort in these trying times, knowing that you're always there to warp me out with danger. So, we got a new counterattack, but what else? Uh, I already know that this isn't going to be what I need to be, because I can, like, recognize the icons, but damn it, I want to be done with this sector already. Go ahead and, like, restock a little bit. I wonder if Blaster Master Man, uh, Jason, I wonder if he has a, uh, energy balancer. By default, hi. I get it. Well, that's... Interesting, certainly, but not especially helpful. Oh, wait, I'm out of counter points already. Whoops. Wait a minute. Now oh, that can't be it. No, what? What was the point of this room? You can't do this to me. There's nothing in here. It was just a room to test out your new counter attack. And now I can't get through here. Wait, can I? Okay, there we go. Well, now I feel stupid. <laughs> Just a heads up, your st stream still indicates Cuphead being played. Thank you for telling me. I tend to forget to change that. And while I'm at it, I need to add that this is a blind playthrough of Blaster Master Zero. And that's got its own tag, so... Gotta stay on top of that. Thank you for reminding me. Wait. Wait, I just saw that thing. There's another path up here? What? What? Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. That was, a uh... Go figure that the very first room I set in was, like, a jape and a den den. A den den! Oh. Oh ho ho! Ah! That may take up a lot of, like, counterpoints, but boy, do you need it. Oh, I got the hyper beam, finally.
And one more thing left to unlock. Let's check it out. Boy, oh boy, this game... Like, the new counter-attack feature is, like, the one gimmick that they want to go with. And they, they, they are making sure that you have this mastered before you even think about trying anything here. So, by the way, uh, there's a particular character in this game that is apparently a reference to a previous Sunsoft title, but I didn't recognize him, and I might have been getting details about him wrong. I think his name was Gonbei? Uh... Oh. Sorry. D story time. Leibniz. For one MA to attack another? What he did goes against the MA series' prime directives. When a pilot defies the mission and turns the MA against non-mutants, the support droid is required to put a stop to it. By any means necessary. Even if that means self-destructing. I didn't see any sign of his support droid. From what he said about you, that choker Leibniz had, it looked just like Eve's. It could be that he already lost his support droid. He said that he's not the same as me, but if I ever lost Eve, who could say that I wouldn't turn out just like him? He might be a glimpse of a future where I could not protect Eve. Well, that was, like, strikingly heavy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Also, I didn't mean to go here. I wanted to, I just wanted to check out the details. Thank you very much. This is what you get when you go to a blind playthrough. You get a person who has no idea where they're going or what they're doing. Alright, so we did that already. We did this already, I think. And that was like one of the first things we did, so let's move on. I got a bad feeling that the little bit that I'm looking for, the little upgrade, was on the plant planet all this time, where we started the stream. I hope I'm wrong and that this isn't all just a fixing, a fixing expedition, a fishing expedition. I should be it's again, it's again. I can't talk. All right, what's next? Whoa! More of those things, huh? Oh, jeez. All right, what do I win? It's a new sub-weapon. Cool. Well, I'm glad that uh, some of these planetoids are really short. Helps speed things up a bit. You're as blind as I am, but you enjoy the overall aesthetic and it looks fun. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, games can still accomplish a lot, even with an 8-bit aesthetic. It's almost a shame that Mega Man 11 went back to 3D. Wait, back to 3D. Wait a minute. The classic series has never had a 3D game before 11, right? Oh yeah! Like, Mega Man 8? That was still a sprite game, it was just on PS1. Missed me. God! Oh, these pesky things. Uh, there we go. Oh boy, I hope I find something useful here. Wait, what's up with this? Oh, I get it. And... Impact Wave. What? What's that do? Oh! It's like the big horn thing from Shovel Knight. Oh, by the way, a really cool new feature in this game is that the recovery of your special meter is based on impact. So whether that means falling from a great height, or even just getting hit by an enemy, or in some cases, ramming them like that. If you ram an enemy with that attack, you basically recover the spe the like special meter that you burnt using it. It's really cool. And of course, if you fall from a really high location, you'll basically get all of your SP back. 
Okay, it's usually a bit more flashy than that, but you get what I mean. Alright, I guess that's it for this place. Well, I didn't intend for this to be like a faffing cleanup stream, but I guess that's what we're doing. Just going out and getting all the extras. I'm sure they'll come in handy later. This looks like a water planet. We probably don't have what we need. No, actually, it's... It's just blue. It's not water, it's just blue. Uh... Um... Oh, okay, there we go. Hi! Alright, hang on a minute. Let's try this. Oh, hang on. Each enemy has a different weakness, so it may be that I need to use the, uh, counter dash, and that'll do more damage. Whoa! No, 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 not that thing. That thing's only supposed to appear in water. I... <laughs> That's the thing about this game, is that when you take hits and you lose your best weapon, you downgrade, and you're not entirely sure what it is that you're stuck with all of a sudden. I end up with a melee attack and didn't even realize it. Alright, fine. I'll use it and see how we feel. There we go. I was wondering if you could kill those things. Wait, those things drop keys? Uh-oh. Did I, did I miss some already by letting them pass? It appears that that is not the case, thank goodness. Cool defenses you got here, guys. Check out my defenses. Alright, what do I win? Energy guard. Ah! Ah, that's gonna be really useful. I'm glad I found that. Golly, that was like one of the most important pickups in Cave Story, being able to protect your weapon experience. Alright, we've seen everything there is to see here. By the way, this little, like, side area, I feel like it was a shout-out to uh, Metroid Fusion. Since it had a boss that you couldn't kill that kept stalking you. And, uh, stuff like that. Also, just the whole, like, abandoned ship filled with mutants. I don't know. Get me a Metroid Vime. Vime. Vibe. Metroid Vibe. Ugh. My words. Alright, what's next? Oh yeah, we got little, like, thwomp things. Well, just ramming into him like that works just fine. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be really easy. Consume SP to fire a terrain-piercing laser and cluster bomb simultaneously. What? Oh! What? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's not all that great. Let's just stick to our regular shot for now. That doesn't consume SP. Oh, but now we're probably going to have to fight something that requires us to use it or something, huh? Or... N oh, I get it, because it pierces the terrain. That's why we need it. It's... it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, 
we did it. And our reward is... a map. Well, woohoo. Very interesting. I guess that will come in handy later. You never know when you're gonna need to, uh... pop an enemy from behind a wall. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like when you fall from a great height. Just remember, the tank loves falling from a great height. Jason, the pilot, does not. If he falls from, like, a comically small height, he's gonna die. Alright, these are, these are good, uh, good items I'm collecting. Now, this is a color planet I have not seen before. Is this going to be dangerous? Is this going to be like Lava Zone? Nope. It's just a really weird color palette. Huh? What? Oh boy! I love these things so much. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just cluster all up in one place and I'm going to blast you. No, the hyper beam, while awesome, uh, runs out of juice very quickly and easily. And the only way to get back up to full power is to perform like a counter attack or something. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Those guys like bum rushed me in an earlier dungeon, and I had a really hard time dealing with them. But that was not too bad, which is good because apparently we're not done yet. What? This thing? I already fought this thing! The Mind Might? Give me a break. Alright, just watch it. Watch it when it stops. Okay, that's... that's dangerous looking. Well, if it's not coming to us, I mean, I'm fine taking it out this way. Oh. Did I get it? Did I actually get it from that far away? No, I didn't. Well, hey, if you can hold on to the hyper beam, then you win. <laughs> and that guy wasn't... I just walked off a cliff. Brilliant. Ooh! Oh. It's a landmine. Oh, man. I was hoping I would get, like, a flamethrower weapon. Oh, well. There was a flamethrower in Blaster Master Zero that was really cool and fun to use, but, uh, no sign of it in this game. I'm a little bit sad about that. So I guess, uh, Cuphead is almost done, huh? Let's, let's talk about something other than Blaster Master Zero 2 for a little bit. My stream schedule, as iffy as it is, is kind of proceeding according to plan. Please tell me that's not on a timer. Okay, no. But this is going to be a little bit tricky. So my original plan was to get started with uh, Harvest Moon 64 when I got done with Cuphead. Although, in actuality, I'm probably instead going to wait until I finish Earthbound to get started on Harvest Moon. I'm getting a pretty far way through that game, by the way. I don't know why, but this year in particular has felt like a very, uh... Hmm, how can I put this? Like, I feel more appreciative of nature than usual this year. And I think that may be just the stress of my job talking. Oh, now you gotta do it hard. The hard way. 
Let's see, now you ain't got no water to protect you. So if you screw up, well, that's it for you. You're probably gonna die if you fall from a height like this. So, in honor of that, I wanted to play a Harvest Moon game during the spring, and Harvest Moon 64 seems like a great choice. A lot of people have nostalgia for it, a lot of people say that it's one of the best Harvest Moon games ever made. I think that can be debated, uh, but I've definitely seen worse. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the Game Boy Advance version. Like, it does some things better, but it does some things worse, too. Oh, uh, I'm not sure which route I want to take. I want to go to that... Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoops. Do I get to keep my upgrade? Oh, God damn it! it didn't save my upgrade. All right, let's do that again. Right, so anyway, I don't know how that's gonna go, cause Harvest Moon is kind of a boring game for streaming. You know, it's great and all, but eh, it does get a bit re repetitive. I might need to stream something else alongside it in order to keep things interesting. Maybe I will stream, like, uh, Yoshi's Crafted World alongside it or something. Oh, by the way, that was going to be the subject of an April Fool's joke that I never got around to. I had the perfect opportunity, too, because one of my designated stream nights was, in fact, on the night of April Fool's. I was just too exhausted to do anything about it. What I, what I was considering doing was just having Yoshi's Crafted World over, like, a green screen and having, like, a tiny window of me playing the game, but I'm actually just faffing around and doing, like, fuck all. And the actual focus of the stream would be, like, <laughs> doing taxes. Like, showing people how to do taxes and, su and such. In all honesty, it might have been a terrible idea for a stream, but would have been would have been unique, if nothing else. Alright, this seems substantially safer. Now, if I can just avoid falling again, then we'll be all good. Also, am I going to have to use those ladders again on the way back, or can I just walk? I can walk. Alright. Woo! Thank goodness. So, I'm getting the distinct impression that the space jump that I was looking for is, in fact, not on any of these side planets. And we should have just stuck on the planet we started on, but hey. We wouldn't have found, about, uh, we wouldn't have found out about this uh, rival dude if we hadn't have done this. So, it'll work out. Alright, what's left? Kind of looks like we've done everything except for what we're supposed to do. So let's get back to the mission at hand, I guess. Yeah, this is like literally the only other place we have yet to go, so... I don't know. We'll find what we're looking for eventually. I hope. Do I at least have a map for this place? I do. Okay. Well, let's have a go, see how far we can get. I really hope those mini-bosses don't show up again. The ones that are literally just, like, a horde of bugs and nothing else. Okay, thank god. I was not looking forward to fighting those things again. Alright, seriously though, where's our, like, drill attack? Didn't we get one before?
I seriously hate those things so goddamn much. Uh, I don't know, man. Something ain't right here. I feel like I lost progress, and whoa, where'd, the, where'd those come from? Did they keep bouncing even after the screen transition? <laughs> That's funny. I really hope that I didn't, like, lose my progress from before I fought Kana. Well, here's where we find out. But, but I did this last week. God damn it. I guess we have to fight Kana again. Tell you what, uh, we'll explain it away by saying that uh, she was too bored waiting for us. So she decided to put up a fight again. <laughs> because she's just done. It's like, if you're not going to get my shit, then I'm going to get rid of you. You are of no use to me any longer. Well, joke's on you. I already know your pattern. Whoa. No, I don't. He didn't do that last time. Help. I have no idea what's going on here. She didn't do any of this last time. What is this? And I barely survived. What was that all about? Give me my thing again. God damn it. Uh. Kana, please. Kana, please. There's my drill smasher. So apparently I didn't get a chance to save before. <laughs> Guess whose life was Splatoon 2? Wait, how do I use this thing again? There we go, okay. Hey, not bad. I kinda wish I could see what my friend was up to in Splatoon 2. But I don't have that game, don't really have any intention of getting it. So we'll we'll just have to listen for the report later on. Uh hmm. What could this be all about? You think they're gonna make Splatoon 3, like, before the next iteration of the Switch? I can't even remember how old Splatoon 2 is at this point. Yes! <laughs> ah, that's good. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting more of them to show up. Let's just leave. I don't care. Hi, you're a little bit different, aren't you? Do I even want to bother with these things? Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot that they could do that. They can just... <laughs> they can eat the little fellas. And spit them out to make something else. I forgot about that. Well, this is pretty, but... No, it's not! No, it's not! This thing's back! God damn it. Who ever heard of a serpent that buries underneath plants? Like a flower bed sea serpent. It's mental. I got a feeling everything in here regenerates, so we're gonna be gonna have to be a little bit quick about th about this.
Boy, when you actually land the counterattacks, it feels pretty good. Whoa! <laughs> yes, in order to bypass those turrets, you are expected to play this like you're in the Matrix or something. Whoa! Barely avoided that. Oh, no I didn't! No I didn't! It's back with a vengeance! Well, lost my power. But I can get him back! Oh god, this, sh this charge shot is not worth it. it. Takes way too long. Screw this, I'm going rapid fire. Oh, no, get away, get away! Ah! God damn it. It's too many of them. I can't keep them all down, I'm gonna have to, like, use grenades. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get anywhere. Alright. What is that noise? If you guys heard something weird, I apologize for that. There might be some machines happening somewhere in my vicinity. What is this? This is not a good place to be, uh, squirreling away a mini-boss battle. Babe, it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, but that, uh, trap worked wonders, didn't it? Right, right, the, uh, reflecty thing. Forgot about that. Uh, Splatfest is coming up in a couple of weeks. I don't know when you sent that message. I apologize for missing it. Nope, didn't work. Didn't work! Shit! Well, that's one way to deal with bugs. So you're getting in some practice with one of the new weapons. Are they still adding new weapons? I'll give it to them. They know how to keep the game fresh. Ah! God damn it! Here of all places, I should have seen that coming, but somehow I didn't. That thing better not respawn. Oh, Fred, get me out of here. I wish he actually made a noise. Even if it's, like, some pathetic 8-bit rendition of a frog sound. I want to hear frog sounds. I want to be like Frog from Chrono Trigger. It'd be fun. Alright, uh... Boy, this just got pretty open-ended. We got three locations to visit. I think I'm gonna quit once I find the next upgrade. Because this is, uh... This is going on for way longer than I expected it would! God damn it. Stupid bugs. So what's going on with these things? I'm not sure I like this particular uh, landscape. Those plants don't look like they will provide me a fun time. Uh, apparently they're not gonna... What? They just ate my ship! What? Uh, yo, Eve. Where are you? Um... <laughs> no, don't talk about the Gaia system. Tell me where you went. Wait, did she just make a joke about messing up in the kitchen? I missed it, because I was like... Ah. Well, shoot, what now? Oh, there's my tank. What? Oh, that wasn't a trap at all. That was just a way to get my tank ready for me. Well, alright, you are forgiven, video game. 
Although I'm not sure if I should go, like, right or up. Eh, let's give this a try. Hmm. Well... Hmm. That's definitely something that Sophia can mess with. Oh wait, I can just get up there with Sophia. What's wrong with me? There we go. Okay, that's <laughs> that's one way to make transport from one one place to another. Just make a waterfall and swim through it. All right, what next? Apparently, this is the new dungeon aesthetic. I guess I'm alright with it. Is that a place I can go up there? No. Hmm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Counterattack right. Alright. Yep, screw you guys, I'm out of here. Uh, what's going on over there? Whoa! Okay then. Help. Oh, jeez. Don't do that. Is there any way I can protect against that? Can I, like, use a mirror or something? So ah! Ah! <laughs> no, that thing can shoot through walls. It's not fair. Wait, did it come back? I thought I killed it. Oh no, it did come back. No, that's not fair. Damn you. Okay, apparently the name of the game today is Speed. What now? As long as they're not the uh, green kind, we should be fine. Oh. Well, that was easy. What now? Ah! I hate these things so much, I keep forgetting about them. <laughs> no. Stop it. I took damage from that. I feel bad about that. points of damage there. And again, what is wrong with me? Well, thank goodness for the weapon guard. Oh no, I'm going around in circles. Oh no, I'm literally going around in circles. No. Oh no. I need to get back on track pronto. I also need to find some health. I am not doing too well here. Is that thing gonna respawn too? No. Okay, good. I don't want to get killed by one of these things. Thank you. Whew. Stop right there. No. Okay then, there we go. Ah. 
Oh, both of them are respawning like crazy, huh? Ow. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Of all the things that could have gone in my favor, I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. Alright, yeah. Screw you. Just gonna walk past you. Ah. It's alright, I think we're almost done with this area. Thank goodness. I could have avoided that, but I didn't. What do I get? Finally! I think. That's that's what we were looking for, right? The space jump? Only one way to find out. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, how's this work? Oh, it's a sub... It's a sub weapon? I thought it was just an upgrade. A repulsive jack? Are you telling me that just shoots a spring? What? That's it? That's the worst upgrade I've ever seen. Repulsion upper. I was expecting like a double jump. A space jump, but no. Instead I get just a spring that I can throw. Wonder how many times I'm gonna be using that. Huh? Wait, what did I just do? This is weird. I'm not sure I like it. Huh? Alright, come with me, newfound seed friend. Or not. Apparently I can't shoot you very far. Hmm. I got a feeling we've got some puzzles coming up involving those things. Whoa! No! No! That's a dirty trick! The power-ups have legs! I need to see that again. They got, like, beefy-ass frog legs. And then jumped up to try and hit me. Okay, no. This isn't Mario. You can't go in the pipes. Or the pots, in this case. Oh, but I can water something. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ah. Uh, anything? Nothing? Hmm. Oh, I get it. I probably have to, like, bring that thing over here somehow. Uh, but how? Hmm. <gasps> the spring! Of course! God damn it! I can't believe I'm doing this. Furthermore, I can't believe this is working. Nope, too far. Can I just give it a light peppering with Jason? Alright, there we go. Now let's give it a try. Ah. Uh, fruit! Acquired! I can't even see it on my menu. But we got a fruit. Good for us. This place is weird. I'm kind of already done with it, but uh, I'll persevere. I'll get through somehow. So, where do I go now? I 
And furthermore, how do I go? Ooh, can I combine these? Nope, sure can't. I would have been sick if I could, though. Alright, nope, nope, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, I just need to go straight up. Like that. Okay, okay, okay. You get a bigger boost than I thought you would when propelling straight through water, so it's fine. Alright, we already went in there. Got some goodies. Now let's see what lies farther beneath the ground. I swear that looks like an entrance. It is an entrance! What? <laughs> what? No! No, that's got me stranded! Oh, god damn it. Fred, help. Okay, I'm so glad that worked. I guess that's uh, just in case you really screw up and have to go back and, like, reset the room. Ooh, hello. There's another one of those things. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. Well, let's see. We can go further down or over to the left. I think I'm going to go to the left. Got more of these drill action items. Wildlife here does not take kindly to, uh... What's happening? Ooh, what's this? Whoa! Oh my god, it's got legs! Why? <laughs> oh god, that's fucking weird. Here it goes again. Oh my god, that's horrifying. And at the same time, kind of funny. Thanks, bottom half of the green giant. Jesus Christ. Uh, I, no! Not more of these things. You're gonna make me, like, miss my aim. How many of these are fake? There's no way to tell. You can't shoot them until they start jumping. Okay. But we see our objective. Let's just make sure that we get all these dudes out of the way. Because they're really annoying. There we go. Alright, that works. Alright, now we just need to find a way to activate that there water. There we go, here we go. You could have ambushed me with fake power-ups, but you chose not to. And I appreciate that. Apple! By the way, these must be absolutely gigantic fruits. Look, they're as big as Jason. Alright, well thankfully this is not going to be quite as big of an ordeal as I was afraid it was going to be. There we go, that's a big boost that I needed. What next? We got some mother brains. We got some of- No! Oh! No! No, even the health power-ups are turning against me. And they're really slow, and like, it's embarrassing to be hit by them. Where should I go, down or up? Let's go down. I see a map, and that looks useful. Ooh, we can go to the left again, too. Trust no- Ah! No! I, th I thought that killed me instantly. Oh! 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 For those that were not paying attention, that was a save point that sprung to life and shot like a death ray the size of, like, Venus in my direction, and somehow didn't instantly kill me. Who needs a functioning heart, exactly? Oh, lord. And just as I was starting to learn my lesson about not trusting, like, 
power-ups. You can't even trust a save point. Is it gonna be okay if I leave here? I guess we'll find out. Hmm. I got a weird feeling about this. Alright, never mind. It's fine. I was afraid we were going to have to fight a mini-boss as, you know, baby tiny Jason. Uh... Let us give this a try. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> it didn't do shit. These things are just hard to kill no matter what you do. Alright, down we go. Tell you what, it was worth the, de the detour. More SP, the better. Unless now we don't have to go out of our way... Uh, when we're done with the planet. Whoa, not you again. Get out of here. Alright. Now on to the final fruit. We're gonna make... We're gonna make Kata our friend if it kills us. Alright, no, 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 no. That's where the evil save point is. Do not trust it. I cannot wait to see other people's reaction to that thing. It's, it's like impossible to see coming. By the way, floor hurts. I forgot about that. So if you missed this thing earlier, check it out. It's like the best, the best thing in this area. Just a giant, like the green giant's bottom half. And he just skadoodles along, doing his own thing. <laughs> he doesn't even fall right. Uh-oh. Uh... Whoops. Uh... Not sure what I was supposed to do there. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that! Enemies are guarding the final fruit. And I don't know where Mr. Plant is. Alright, let us go at a different angle for the time being. Never mind, that was a bad idea. Let's not do that. Is there a way to induce this guy to, like, jump? Uh, no, but you can make him stop. Hmm. <gasps> of course! The stupid fucking spring! That's what we're supposed to do. Just you wait. This is gonna work. I can't believe I have to do this. Yeah, there we go! That's so stupid, but I love it. And one more time for good measure. Upsie daisy! Oh wait, it didn't work. Um are we, gonna, are we gonna have to use two of these? One on the ground and one on Mr. Plant himself. Yes! That's such a dumb combo, but I'm glad I pulled it off. I got a bad feeling about this. Are we going to have, like, a bunch of enraged plants after us now, or something? Shoot! Didn't mean to do that. Alright. There we go! Alright, we got all the fruits. Let's see what Kana thinks of our progress. By the way, I heard an interesting detail about uh, Kana and whatever her butler's name is. Oh, this name again? Like Kenworth or something silly like that? Maybe we'll find out. We brought you the fruit you wanted. Now about that access key. Cool your jets! Just like, wait a sec! Deep breath. Here we go. Pop! What? Okay, come and get it! Huh? Kinda took the flower she plucked from her head, along with the three fruits, and stuffed them in Yakopu's mouth. What? Yakopu is like, super special. He can mix all the goodies that he eats, and then he can like, make medicine from it. Uh, huh. 
All done! Here you go, Eve. This medicine is totally for you. Drink it up! Like, all in one gulp. Medicine? Gulp. <laughs> My body feels so light. Awesome! But it's just for a while, so, like, don't get used to it. To get totally healed, I bet you have to, like, get to your planet. Only temporary, huh? Still, thank you, Kana. It's all good. I wanted to get some use out of that flower that I totally worked hard to grow. I also kind of wanted to, like, tease you a bit, too. My goodness, Miss Kana. You truly are a handful. Thank you. With that, can you tell us about that access key? Oh, that? Yeah, like, there's totes no key here! Uh... Flower! How do you pronounce it? Flower! <laughs> you totally fell for it. Seize this tomfoolery, Kana. Please, take this data. Uh, alright, I guess we're gonna have to go hunting for that. A planetoid map? Yeah, it's like super fast! Like, planetoid! It appears that a mutant on that planetoid holds the access key. As Kana mentioned, this planetoid revolves quite quickly, so take care. I wish we could assist you two more directly, but alas. We must take some time to repair air before we can act again. Understood. We can handle that mutant on our own. May you find fortune in battle. Bye-bye, flower! Well, that was, uh... Slightly disappointing, but hey. I guess if Eve's feeling better, then we're all good. Do you have anything to say about what just transpired, Eve? Kana is really difficult to grasp, but Ken would. You seem to have no problem getting along with her. Oh, not at all. She's anything but difficult to grasp. Hey, language. After all, it was I who grasped her and uprooted her in the first place. Uprooted? Eve, as a fellow support droid, surely you can recall our mission. We find a suitable pilot for the MA, then support them, right? Correct. Unfortunately, there was no life form capable of piloting the MA when I arrived here. After the long journey at the end of my rope, I encountered the seed of the one you know as Miss Kana. I unearthed her seed from the ground, and ever since then, I've raised her to become a proper lady. Oh, yes, I see. I feel she still has a long way to go in that regard, but... I will be forever grateful that our paths crossed like this. Ken would look so happy talking about how he and Kana first met. But still, I'm so glad I was sent to Earth. For some reason, I feel that now more than ever. Whose thought was that? Was that Eve or Jason speaking? Oh, by the way, can I do anything with this? Well, yes, but it doesn't do anything. whoop de doo <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess that had to happen eventually. Oh, no. If you get an SP expansion... Okay, I just learned two things in very quick succession. If you get an extra SP boost, it takes even longer for you to recharge when you run out. But also, when you run out, you explode with energy, and that can destroy enemies. Who would have thought? Alright, now how do I leave? Let's see... I tried going directly back up this way before, and it didn't work too well. So, I'm gonna try it again with my little... spring partner and see how we feel. Can you use it in the water? Yes, you can. There we go! That's how you get out of there. Oh, but what now? Uh... Yes! I keep thinking that this is a dumb little gimmick item that just never works properly, but it's been working. I'm just being pessimistic about it. Alright, I'm trusting that we have nothing left to collect from here, and I'm gonna be on my way. Before Mother Brain, uh... takes her vengeance upon me. Never mind, too late! When am I going to be able to play as Shantae? I want to be able to transform into Mother Brain again. <laughs> and if you use that on an enemy, it just... springs him into oblivion. Uh, 
All right, away we go. I don't... I, sorry to be anticlimactic about this, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting that boss mutant today. I'm going to save that for the beginning of next week. Oh! Uh, okay, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Look at those things go! That's... that's insane. <laughs> I think... I think I would like this stream to begin right here, on that particular note. Oh, wait. That's right, you can't save and quit on the world map, which is so stupid, and I hate it. Wow, you gotta be super... It's bouncing! It's bouncing across the solar system! That makes no sense, but I love it. <laughs> Quick, catch it before it gets away. <laughs> this is such a bizarre sector, I love it. E3! Now we can save. Uh... So I guess all that business about the planet moving really fast doesn't really affect you here? Alright, fine, fair enough. Well, that'll do it for me today. Thank you guys for joining me. It's been a good three hours. I've had my fair share of shoot for the day, and I'm ready to go.